welcome back to my channel my concha crew this is your girl diane boo don't want to watch those vlogs welcome welcome to all the new subscribers bienvenidos welcome to the concha crew you already know it's all good vibes puro good vibes but if you have not yet right now do me a favor go to the right hit that bell so you're notified every time that i post and every time that i go live also make sure you are following me on all of my social media i have tiktok which is the same domain, Diane Puro Guanajuato's Vlogs. I do have Instagram, Diane Puro Guanajuato's Vlogs. Follow me on TikTok, Instagram, and of course, thank you for supporting me here on YouTube. All right, you guys, so I don't know if you guys catch my lives, but if you do, you know what it is I have here and why I have this. My Concha crew, you already know, we were talking in the recent live that I had um, when I went live, we were talking about nachos. Here we go. This is my version of my nachos. You guys, this is going to be my first time trying nachos on Dorito chips. I promise you, my first time. I'm so used to the corn tortilla chips. I have never had them like this. And shout out to, you know, those that were recommending. They're like, try it out. We we're talking. It's always good vibes in the live. But you got to make sure your bell's on if you want to be in the live so you can go in there. And, and you know, we, all, we, we go from talking about food, talking about relationships, talking about you name it. You name it. Okay? So let's go ahead and let's go over what it is that I have here, you guys. I'm going to show you guys my version of my nachos. So here, again, first time I'm trying, there's the Dorito chips underneath. I have a layer of cheesy beans. I have uh, the next layer is the uh, seasoned ground beef. I did season it with the Taco Bell seasoning. And then there is the diced tomatoes, the shredded lettuce. I have crema mexicana, which is the Mexican sour cream. And yeah, this is it. This is it. Oh, yeah, but you already know. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I was about to grab my, sa my salsa. You guys, let's go ahead. If you can join me for my prayer. Dear Lord, Heavenly Father, thank you for the blessing of this meal. May it be nutrition to my body, dear Lord. Please provide to those in need. Please bless those that are watching, dear Lord. And whatever they're going through, Heavenly Father, touch them. Give them love, dear Lord. Ease their burdens, dear Lord. And as you say, place your burdens onto us and stand still. And we are all standing still. And I claim that today, Heavenly Father. And thank you again for the blessing of this meal. In Jesus' name we pray, amen, amen, amen. Okay, so I was going to grab my favorite. I, I can't stress enough. This is probably like my sixth bottle since I put the other ones on here. This is my favorite right here. This is the Botanera hot sauce. Botanera hot sauce. It is so delicious on chips. I put it on everything. I just love it. I love it. As you can tell, I barely bought this today. And look it, I've already used all that in there. Yes, I did take my acid reflux pill. Yes, yes, yes. Um, shout out to, uh, I forgot someone had asked what it is that I do for my acid reflux. Look at how cute this is. Mira, 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 how cute. Um, I take some pills uh, that are prescribed by my doctor and they are over the counter. Counter, the over the counter, yeah, counter. And uh, those are the pills. They start with an O. I can't, for the love of me, I can't pronounce them. Um, I barely started taking them daily. Um, but yeah, you can buy them over the counter. Um, let's see here. I just don't want to get blue. I probably have blue on my fingers. What I'm shaking up here, you guys, this is my favorite. This is the sugar-free. Uh, they sell it at um, Walmart. It's the sugar-free. It's their Hawaiian, their blue Hawaiian. Uh, I love this. And then if you were watching my live earlier, I had got me an agua fresca in this cute little thing from Cardenas Market. I do have that live up. I'm leaving my lives up more because a lot of people, you know, they tend to say, oh, I wish you would leave it up. You always cut, you know, cut them off. So let's go ahead and let's add that in there. Oh, you guys want to sit? Get a sit. Okay, give it back. <laughs> so yeah. I'm hungry. I love nachos. Nachos for me is, I love them. Some people don't like them because they say like, oh, it's not too much of a, of a meal. That's more of a snack. But when you hook them up like this, my friend, this a meal. And this is a big plate right here. I know a lot of people are already saying, oh my goodness, do you see how big that plate is? She's going to eat all that. <laughs> we are going to be doing the questionnaire. I did ask you know, put out there for some questions, but let me get into this. Let me go ahead and put my botanera. Woo! I hope everybody's just in good spirits. I love you guys when you guys put your comments. You know, you guys are commenting about, look at that. You guys are just commenting about, you know, how you guys enjoy my videos and, 
and about my vibes you know i really appreciate that my friends it does mean a lot to me we're gonna get the ones up right here at the front but yes this is delicious me and ariel we are legit addicted to dorito chips with just this get the botanera and then just cheese dor dorito chips and let me tell you you will not stop eating the whole bag <laughs> but yeah thank you so much my friends for you know all those love in the comments you know i hope everybody again is in good spirits let's go ahead and give the concha crew the first bite here we go there you go get it there's the first bite Ooh. Okay, here we go. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. That's really good. Of course. In my casa, I have my 600 pound cat, Simba. But. He's calladito right now, and a lot of people always stress that. Why does he cry so much? He cries because he deals with separation. A. Okay. So, you know, he's really loved. He's very spoiled. If you know me outside of YouTube, or you follow me outside of YouTube, you would know. He's very spoiled. Mmm. This is really good. Mm-hmm. With the Dorito chips. This is kind of giving me a... The... This is giving me the Taco Bell taco. You know, like the, the Dorito taco vibes? This is it. Mm-hmm. Mm. I put beans in here too. How do you make how do you make your uh your version of, of a nachos? Comment that below. Simba saying hi. He already heard his name. You already know how he does it. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of people ask questions, so. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Or maybe nobody wants to be nosy. What happened, my phone I thought we were cheese bone sauce. One thing this does though, it turns my teeth blue after a while. And then when I'm putting it in, I don't know, there might be some blue on my nails, but it's so delicious. This is the ocean water. I think I said blue Hawaiian. This is the ocean water. My mind is everywhere. My mind is up on these nachos. This is delicious. This is good for like the football season, basketball season, any season. This is really good. Mmm. Everybody's probably ready, like, okay, answer the questions, come on. I'm like, let me get to it. Mm -mm -mm. This is definitely giving me the Taco Bell, Dorito Taco Vibes. It really is. I don't know if they put beans in their taco, but it's delicious. You know, one thing about Taco Bell, One thing about Taco Bell is I feel like when you do, when they do their, um, you know, like when they have their, their nachos, they're so skimpy and they try to advertise them like this. Definitely. I feel like I said Taco Bell skimpy with their, uh, their, um, nachos, nachos bel grande from where? Mmm. Mm-hmm. I'm like, I never fall for that. 
I like I do like their nacho fries though. I don't know why they call them that. But I will say I do love me. They're on their app. It's the Cravings Meal. It's like six bucks. I've ate it on here before. Mmm. And it comes with everything. And a drink. It's affordable. I was tripping out when I went to McDonald's the other day. Um, a McDouble is like, it's literally four bucks for McDouble. What in the world? The hot and spicy at McDonald's used to be a dollar. Those are two something now. It's crazy. Mmm. That's why we got to eat on a budget, learn how to cook. If you don't know how to cook, I didn't know how to cook, you guys. I had to self-taught myself. Mm-hmm. I had to self-teach myself. I'm going to say taught. Game sabe. All right. Mm-hmm. That's good. I know, I know. Let's get into the, to the questionnaire. I'm going to go drink first. Mm, this is so good. This doesn't even make me feel like I'm missing out on the sugar sugar drinks. But I wish they would sell this at Sonic. They only have the um, diet cherry limeade and like the diet teas. Come on, Sonic. We need more diet options. Sugar free, I'm saying. Sugar-free options. Come on. All right. I'm going to get one more bite. This is so good, my friends. Oh. This is going to be a big bite right here. Here we go. Ready? Mmm. Mmm. Bomb. That is good. I will say I do like it with the Dorito chips. The only thing is it's not giving me... I'm going to keep it 100. It's giving me the Dorito tacos from Taco Bell taste. So, I I do love it, though. I like it because I love me those tacos. But I will say, my favorite is going to be the corn tortilla chips, my friend. The plain corn tortilla chips. But, yes, this is good right here. I like it. I enjoy it. It's just giving me that. You know what I'm saying? It's giving me that, that uh, Dorito taco. Dorito Tulaco. Okay. Let's go ahead and shout out to Crazy Sue. Shout out to you, Crazy Sue. Thank you so much. So much for your love and support, my friend. She asks, Hi, Diane. My question is... Excuse me. My question is, if you had the power to be invisible or be able to fly, which one would you choose and why? I would say invisible. Why? Because nobody would be able to see me. You can fly, but if you're in the sky and, and they're going after you, they're going to get you. Mm -hmm. So I will say invisible because nobody can see me at all. Good question. I like that one. Let me tell Okay, let's see. Shout out to G M A Z Boog nine zero five zero. Shout out, my friend. Uh, the question is: If there was, or is there one thing you wanted, or would want to learn, what would it be? What would I want to learn, and what would it be, or what would I want? Um, that's a good one. Let me see. Let me let me re ask this. If there is one thing you wanted or would want to learn, what would it be? I'm gonna say one thing that I want. I'm gonna say this one thing that I want for myself is I want to be stable. That's one thing. To be in a stable foundation, you know, wh whether it's mentally physically, financially, that would be one thing that I want. 
Yep. You know, to struggle and all that, it sucks. But I'm thankful for what I do have. And I'm not doing the complaining about what I don't. Thank you, my friend, for answering that. That's a good question. Very good question. Oh, look at this right here. Look at it. Oh, okay. Let's see. Mmm. I love my beans cheesy. Cheesy, cheesy beans. All right, let's move on to the next. Mm -mm. Hi, Laura B. Shout out to Laura B. Shout out to my mom, Laura B. Hi, my friend. She says, happy autumn, everybody. Even though it's still 100 degrees up in here, and she just put that as well. We're still in the hundreds here in Arizona. But she asked, what was your first concert? My first concert... Um, my first concert was Janet Jackson. Janet Jackson was my first concert. Mm -hmm. Yep, that was my first, not the one that just happened. It was when I was, uh, I believe I was like 12 years old. Mm -hmm. It was Janet Jackson. I had went, shout out to my cousin Jennifer. Me and Jennifer had went to that concert. So yeah. Well, that was my first concert. She also asked, what was your first CD even that you ever bought while growing up? My first CD that I ever bought was Selena y Los Dinos. Selena. Mm -hmm. And I still have it. That was my first CD. What was your favorite tennis shoe? My favorite tennis shoe... I mean, they're more basketball shoes, but Jordans. I am a collector of Jordans. I have like retros and all that. So I have to say Jordans because of my collection. This is going to be messy right here. No oh, messy ain't going to hurt you. Look at that. Mm -hmm. So Jordans. I do have lots of Jordans. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, I'm going to tell you, all you kids, you may want to be on mm -hmm, with the, the dopest kicks and everything on the block. Enjoy that. Because when that age creeps on you, them Jordans ain't no longer comfortable. <laughs> You're looking for the comfort, the memory foam, and that ain't in no Jordan. Mm-hmm. And I say this because I have my nephews that watch me. Shout out to my nephews. Love you guys so much. Dia loves you guys. Enjoy your childhood. In other words. All right. So let's go to the next one. Hi, Luz Maria. Hi, my friend. As a group, as well, she says, as growing up as a teen, what kind of travesuras would you used to do in medical school? In middle school or high school, what is a memorable moment? Re, memorable moment with your friends at that time. My I I was a traviesa. I was a troublemaker. Period. And that was in grade school and high school. Yeah. And let me tell you. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can can even say I'm more relaxed now than what I used to be by far but one of the traviesuras that i used to do is i used to claim that i was a part of a you know lean like a side to side elbows up side to side and i would literally do the whole lip liner with the and i used to do like the um the white remember the the eyeshadow palettes that were white and black i would paint all my eyelid white and I would, you know, they didn't have like the blending brushes and all. You usually, it used to came with, with two of them and a little stick. I would grab the stick, put all white on one side and rub it all. Turn it to the back, get the black, and then just do like an arch. A ra uh, like a shape of a rainbow, an arch of black. And yeah, that's where I got this tattoo right here. I don't know if you can see it. The little, the little, this one right here. Because I was trying to do the tres puntos which is the three 
points. And if you were, uh, that's what was about. You see what I'm saying when I'm saying? Yo era loca. Mi vida loca. Yes, yeah, so I had a lot of travesuras. I'll do that more. I'll tell more stories of that. But yeah, a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Getting caught for curfew. Mm, you name it. Mm -hmm. I have lived a crazy life. <laughs> mm. So yeah, that was... I'm going to go more into story times with those because there's so many. And it's not something to like just say fast. But yeah, I was a traviesa. And like I said, I thought I was a what? What? You already know. I thought I was a, you know, a, a, a hard one. And let's see. What sibling were you close to? Now it's hard to say because I'm the oldest. And then there goes Christina. And then it goes Larry and Crystal. And then my two younger brothers. So me being the oldest, I wasn't close with really with one specifically. I kind of just was, it was like each one of them, the same level. You know, when you're older, you're like, stop, get out of here. Like, it's not cool, you know? But yeah, thank you for asking. Oh, wait, she said, did you ever use an old school CD player at school? Yes, I did. The Walkman, you would put it right here. The big old, you know, the Walkman. And you were cool, the cassette player. And uh, she's asking what CDs or what music was I into? At that time, um, I was into rave music. So like house music, techno, um, rave music. So uh, one of my favorite ones was DJ Irene. Mm -hmm. Richard Humpty Vision. That was my type of music. And um, also, I just loved techno. I loved raves. I loved clubbing. I loved all that. So that's the type of music I would listen to in my, in my headphones. Good questions. Woo. And she said, what type of shoes did you rock? Um, as, as I said, I rocked Jordans. Let me see. We'll go on to the next question. Hi, Sarah. It's uh, Sarah Hawks, you. What is the perfect day for you if you had to do what, if you, so what is the perfect day for you if you had a day to do whatever you want, what would it be? A perfect day for me would to be with my boo. For me to be with, with my boo and for us just to do what we love to do. We love to go and, and sightsee. We go like out in Tucson, we'll travel and go over there to the national parks. Um, you know, we, we just love to, to sightsee. So that's a perfect day for me. And you know, just be away, away from all this craziness. It's crazy. And you can only watch so much Netflix and Hulu and, and you name it. Sometimes you just need to like get out. And I say this, get fresh air. So that's a perfect day for me is to be with Ariel and just to be out and, and you know, things that people probably consider boring. Like, oh, why do you guys want to go drive out and look at mountains and cactuses? It's beautiful. Mm-hmm. Mm. She also asked, what do you like to watch on YouTube? I love to watch on YouTube. Um, I like to watch other, you know, other mukbangers and vloggers. Um, so it's hard because there's there's so many. But one thing I do like to watch the most is the documentaries. I know. The ones that are like, and so she went outside. And when she walked to her car, she dropped her keys. And he came from the back. <laughs> and then when I watch him, I'm scared. And I'm like, huh. I'm all scared. And I'm all, Lord, please forgive me. Please protect me. Put your guardian angels around me. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs> but I love watching those. I love watching Dateline too. Dateline, 48 hours. You already get the hint. Thank you so much for asking. Hey, Dallas Cowboys. Uh, she says, what would be the next restaurant you would want to try in Tucson? The next restaurant that I want to try in Tucson, that is going to be 
And I'm going to tell you like this. The golden taco. Mm-hmm. The golden taco. She had told me about the golden taco. They're tacos dorados. They're the, the you know, crunchy, deep fried, crispy tacos. Mm. And she had told me that she had went there and tried them and they were so delicious. So again, the golden taco. And it's not a restaurant. That's more of a lonchera, more of a food truck. But yeah, that that's, that's what I would want to try next. Love you. Hi, Noah. Hi, Noah. Hi, my friend. Noah asked, my question would be something simple. What would you be getting dressed up for a vlog on your channel in a Halloween costume? Um, interesting. I have dressed up for Halloween. Um, but if I could dress up for Halloween, I think I would be... Um, I don't know if you see this person all over TikTok. And it's La Monja, which is the nun. And, and this nun is on this big old, uh, it's like a, they go to the fair and they're like, there's, it's this one ride that goes in circles and it's like, dun, 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 dun. <laughs> that's what I would want to be. Yeah. Cause you crazy. Cause I'm crazy. So yeah, that's what I want to be. So not so much of the nun, the movie, but if you watch by any chance, it's La Monja. It's a, uh, she's a nun that. She's, you know, she goes on and she dances on, on, uh, this, you know, these, uh, fair rides. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Thank you for asking. All right. Hi, Sabrina. Sabrina, M6136 says, I love your content. Are you planning on having kids? <laughs> I have answered that question, my friend. And the, the recent questionnaire, go check it out. Go check that one out. Because I just recently asked that one. And that's going to be when I'm eating that spicy beef um, noodle soup. Right there. There's your answer. And then where do you see yourself in five years from now, she asked. In five years, um, I hope to see myself still here. Um, I hope to see that my channel has grown uh, five years, I hope that I am stable, you know, my health, uh, my mental health, and financially. That's what I see for myself in five years. That's exactly what I see, my friend. Thank you so much for asking. Woo, you guys, these questions. Hi, Cindy M. Cindy M8 is asking, assuming that your job is only YouTube, which I've said this, my, uh, not that you're asked that you're saying, but I do not work uh, full time for YouTube. I will have a full time job. So, um, but I do do YouTube as well. If you were to quit YouTube, what other kind of job would you work? Um, well, currently I like the job that I'm in, um, but for privacy reasons, I won't disclose, you know, what I do. But I must say I like to to work. Um, I love to work in health, you know, in, a, in in the medical field, you know? So medical field is, is my passion. I love it. So thank you for asking, my friend. Thank you for asking. All right, you guys, we're almost gonna come close to the, the questions here. Shout out to Jacob1, M, M O one. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Hey Jacob, shout out to you, my friend. Thank you for asking. Let's go ahead and add, let's uh, read his question. Hi Diane, I love your content, and I must say that you have came so far. Thank you so much, my friend. Yes, 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 yes. I am so proud of myself how far I came. Question: Is there anything in your past that you regret doing? Thank you so much. Love you, girl. Um, whoo, Jacob, good question. So, um, is there anything in my past that I regret doing? To be honest, there is not. Because things in our past, they are life's lessons, right? 
Um, and I wouldn't take anything back in my past because that's who I am today. That's who made me who I am today. And that's where I'm saying it's it's a lesson. You know what I mean? So for me, I can't really, I, I can't say that I regret anything in my past because I don't. You know what I mean? Um, I feel like if others hold on to grudges and hold on to things, that's something that, you know, you have to live with. And that's why I don't want to regret because then I'll hold on with that and I'll have grudges, you know, and, it, and life's so short, you guys. And so with this being said, you know, I don't regret anything. I don't. For me, it's been a, a life lesson. I, I've learned from it. It's taught me and it's built me. All the pain has built me who I am. And that's what I'm saying. When you go through so much in your life, you're always wondering, why does this happen to me? Why me? Why, why, why can't I be happy? Why do I have to go through this? But just remember that you are God's warrior. You are his biggest warrior. Let me tell you that, my friend. And I don't push my religious beliefs on anyone, but these are my beliefs. And I believe that I am God's warrior. But, all right, with that being said, you guys, I done eight, look, half of this. Look at that. Half. There was no way that I could eat this other half, but it's okay. It's okay. It is okay. But thank you so much, you guys, for if you watched this long, I really appreciate that you guys stayed around. If you guys right now just can put right now in the comments, GTO, and that's abbreviation for Guanajuato, GTO, my friends. Drop those in the comments. Make sure to like this video. Share me with your family and your friends, you guys. And again, thank you so much for your love and the support. And I am going to, I will close this out here. I will see you guys on the next one. Make sure your bell is notified because I go live. You know, you're, a lot of people are saying they don't get notifications. Make sure you ring that bell, my friend. Make sure your bell is notified. I'll see you guys on the next one. Adios.